Hello everyone, this is Taylor walking through question one of the spring 2019 MAS1 exam in today's video. Let's get started. Cars arrive according to a Poisson process at a rate of two per hour. Calculate the probability that in a given hour exactly one car will arrive during the first 10 minutes and no other cars will arrive during that hour. So for this question, uh, something that should pop out to you right away is that the given for this distribution is in uh, a rate of per hour, whereas the second part of this question is looking at things in terms of minutes. So just automatically thinking that you will be doing conversions. So keep that in mind. Um, in terms of background knowledge, that is a necessity in order to be able to do this problem. There really isn't too much. It's pretty basic. Um, you need to know the PDF of a Poisson, uh, but that's actually provided in the uh, formula sheet for this exam. So really, you just have to be able to look it up and, and know how to use it. Uh, so namely, that lambda is the uh, expected frequency for a unit of time, and then x is just your specified amount. So this is, what is the probability of seeing exactly x events given a lambda? And that's what this formula gives you. So jumping into the problem for the calculations, uh, first off, again, we, we have those two separate windows. Uh, so we care about one event occurring in the first 10 minutes and then zero events occurring in the next 50 minutes. So we have to get their corresponding lambdas, that average frequency for the specified unit of time. So given two per hour, uh, if we want to divide that by six, because you know we only want that first 10 minute window, we're going to get a third. Uh, whereas we'd expect to see five-third events for that uh, second 50-minute window period. And then we just need to plug and chug into our formula, that PDF. So what's the probability of seeing exactly one event given the average is one-third events? Plug that into our formula and we get one over three times e to the negative one-third. Likewise, we do the exact same thing for that second portion of time so that in that 50 minute window we want exactly zero events to occur. So we get our probability being e to the negative five thirds. Uh, the last step is just to recognize that these are independent um, uh, random samples. Uh, so since they're time windows, that first 10 minutes and the next 50 minutes are completely disjoint. These uh, random events are independent and so to get their joint probability we can just multiply them. So that's just multiplying the two results of those two separate plug and chugs. Uh, and their product gives us 4.5%. Scrolling back up, uh, we see 4.5 falls in that range provided by B. So our final solution is B. So that concludes today's video. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing if you find these videos helpful. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.